Hello, I'm Russ, and this is the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of August 13th, 2020. Well, as we all know, the Democrats want a stimulus package of $2.4 trillion. And basically, Donald Trump said that yesterday that they're not going to get it because basically they have a lot of stuff on there that shouldn't be on there. Like, I don't know, the post office for... 25 billion dollars to keep it open and then another 3.4 billion dollars to actually uh, get out the mail-in ballots and he basically says that's a left-wing wish list and let's see here also um, just because and, and as well as on the second stimulus package idea stimulus, stimulus check idea they like said Trump shot that down too. So basically, the stimulus package, the stimulus check, is basically may or may not happen. I mean, could, just because Trump says it's not going to happen doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It actually might happen, but it's not this month, <laughs> which sort of sucks. And then we have Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin and Nancy, and basically Nancy Pelosi had a phone call conversation yesterday. It was the first phone call conversation they've had since last Friday. In other words, they haven't spoken since last Friday. Isn't that just nice of them? Um, the call between these two didn't lead to anything good or anything at all, should I say, because Pelosi said that the um, Mnuchin said that Mnuchin said that the White House isn't standing firm on their stimulus package price tag. Although in earlier videos, if you remember, I reported that Mnuchin said that the, the White House would bring up their total, put more cash on the table if the Democrats basically worked with them. And like I said, the Democrats started at $3.4 trillion and they took their package down to $2.4 trillion. And yet the White House isn't willing to budge past the $1 trillion mark just quite yet. Um, I also have a... Uh, Let's see, we, we have unemployment claims that came in today, and we've had 963,000 uh, 963, unemployment claims this week, which is quite well compared to last week's at 1.2 million. And basically, I, I got a few pictures and a few videos to look at that you actually might find quite interesting about your president and other information along COVID-19 news. Um, the first one is, is we got we got Larry Kudlow talking about how voter rights is being a liberal left wing. Oh, OK. Never mind. I guess it was Larry Kudlow that said the left wing uh, wish list, not President Trump. Sorry about that. But here, here's that video. Please enjoy. And I still have a bit more to come for you. President Trump has acted forcefully because we couldn't reach a deal with the Democrats. They're asking too much money, three and a half trillion dollars. We've already spent over three trillion. So much of the uh, Democratic uh, asks are really liberal left wish lists. We don't, we don't want to have vote, you know, voting rights and aid mm -hmm. to uh, aliens mm -hmm. and so forth. We, that's not our- And let's see here. And in other news, our national debt is greater than expected in fact i have a picture of why it is so high and basically you'll see what i'm talking about and on covid19 news Apparently, imported chicken is coming back positive with coronavirus. So if you guys are out there eating imported chicken, you might not want to eat it no more because it's coming back positive. And then we, I also have Trump shooting down the, um, the post office because in Nancy Pelosi's offer at 2.4 trillion dollars there's like i said there's a 25 billion dollar thing in there for the post office to keep it open and then a 3.4 billion dollar thing in there for the mail-in ballots for the elections 
and I got two pictures and a video to show you on that one as well to help explain that so please enjoy they turned out this bill because they want radical left agenda items that nobody in their right mind would approve. So they want $25 billion for the post office. They want $2.5 or $3.5 billion for universal mailing, $3.5 billion. And the bill's not going to happen because they don't even want to talk about it because we can't give them the kind of ridiculous things that they want that have nothing to do with the China virus it has nothing at all to do with China virus, much of what they're asking for. So therefore, they don't have the money to do the universal mail-in voting. So therefore, they can't do it, I guess, right? Are they going to do it even though they don't have the money? They're asking for the $3.5 billion. They're asking for $25 billion for the post office so they can do this, I guess, and other things. At 25, I would hope it would be a lot of other things, too. But therefore, they don't have it. They don't have the money to do the universal mail-in votes. It'll be the greatest rigged election in history. It'll be the greatest fraud ever perpetrated, other than perhaps what they did to my campaign, where they spied on my campaign. And unfortunately, that is currently all the news I have for you today, even though well, there's really nothing happening on with the Senate or because they're out until next month. The House of Representatives is also out until next month. Although the Senate can be called back within a 24 hour notice. I don't know about the House of Representatives, though. So basically, this actually is the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of August 13th, 2020. You guys have a great day and an excellent evening. And I will broadcast again to you tomorrow which is Friday. Until then, be safe and be happy. Bye.